welcome back to the vlog. So today, as you can see, <laughs> um, we are in our basement. James will be down in a minute. But this is our project for today. We are cleaning this basement. One of our goals, actually, about a year, exactly a year ago, we, we cleaned it out. So it might, like this might turn into be that, you know, like a, a once a year thing because everything just accumulates. But we had um, a goal, goal to clean this out and we're going to eventually, we'll, we still will, but we want to get shelving units, like the floor type shelves. There's like, um, what are they called? Like racks or something. I don't know, I can't think of the name. To store everything. So one, that most of the things are off the ground, except the things that are, you know, no big deal to be on the ground, like the plastics and stuff like that. And I also kind of wanted to have like little rat, like, um, why can't I think of the name? Shelves, like shelving units. Like I also wanted to like do like a little stockpile type pantry type thing down here too. Just like, cause you know, we have a very small kitchen um, and not too much storage, like not as much storage as you would think. Um, so eventually like I would want to do like just like a little, like where we keep all like our canned goods, our extra things of cereal and stuff like that down here. That stuff that we don't need every day. And that when we do need, we just run down and get it. So. That's the end goal of this basement because as you can tell, it is a completely unfinished basement. Um, literally the dingiest of little basements you can ever think of. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today we're just going to try to organize, go through everything, um, throw out things that we don't need, maybe put a pile of stuff that we just don't need anymore that we don't necessarily want to throw away. Like, for example, the baby stuff that now we don't even need that eventually we'll want to, like, maybe give away or sell in a garage sale or whatever. Like, then there's just stuff that Jax doesn't need anymore, and there are a couple things that Emma now doesn't need anymore. For example, the baby bath, because I had bought something for her that fits in our bath because again we have a small bathroom so we didn't have room to have extra stuff so this is our project this is what we are doing today so I figured I would vlog just kind of you guys can see the progress see how much we can get done during the kids nap time they literally both just went down so we we at least have a solid hour ish to like start getting stuff done so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Looks like it's a disaster down here, which it kind of technically is, but everything is still semi-organized from when we organized it a year ago. Um, and the insanely crazy thing is, is that I know where everything is, which is sick. Um, like, I'll come down here. Oh, I know that it is. I know where that is, and I'll come down here and I'll run back up because I, like, know exactly which box it was packed in from when we moved out of our townhouse because, you know, yeah. So, anyway... I'm going to start in this corner here. This is basically already pretty organized. It's just boxes of stuff that we just, like, I just, we eventually have to go through things and throw them away. This is not going to be the day, though, but, so. We are finding some gems. Oh, my God, my battery's going to die. My iPod. Hello, you guys remember this if you went to school? Well, school when I did. High school when I did. 2004. Vlog is definitely going to be a two-part. We are making a lot of progress, but we have a lot of stuff that we want to throw away. So we need, we just ordered some of those large garbage bags, but this is where we're at so far. This whole corner is like, it's organized. Like this is all baby clothes. <laughs> Back there is like just stuff from both of us like growing up that we don't need, but we don't want to throw away. Um, then it goes Christmas, fall, and then we're still working over here. And then I'm getting into like the kitchen type stuff where, which is what I really want the racks for to or organize all my kitchen appliances that we don't use every day, like our roasting pan and all that stuff. So yeah, we're going to finish it definitely another day, but we've made a lot of progress. We've been down here for about two and a half hours. It feels like, um, our grill got delivered. So yeah, so the next clip is definitely going to be whenever we decide to do this next. So 
so I realized, I don't know why I'm turning this light on, I'm not going over here, that I never updated you guys on the basement um, that we actually finished. Just, was it yesterday? I'm losing track of days. So two days ago, I think it was, uh, two, three days ago, I think it was Wednesday. Today's Saturday. So what, three days ago? Oh, God, guys. We organized the entire basement. I have some clips that you guys just saw there, um, but then my camera died. So um, so I took some on my phone, but I figured I would just update it on the good camera as well. So this side is like all clean. And then just the other day, we did this side, which is where our washer and dryer is. Um, and this whole corner, like right here, was just packed of just the this, this stuff that's there now, but like just not organized. Just not organized. And it had like all the wrapping stuff that I keep down here in the basement. So I just cleaned this whole area up. Thank God that we have shelves there. So this is obviously where we are the most when we're in the basement doing laundry, which I'm doing today when why I'm down here. Um, so over here, I just kept like, this is like beach summer stuff because like our beach towels are up there, um, like travel stuff, like when we go away, it's like a portable hamper and stuff. These are obviously our hampers now. The spare bed extra extra toys um and everything and then like over here i actually organized everything by category so um i had mentioned that we want to eventually get those tall racks um i don't think i get to give the word the other day um to place everything off the ground and or more or, or in a more organized fashion where we can like for example this is like all kitchen stuff so this is like stuff that we don't use on a daily basis or that we use when we have company over you know like serving trays and stuff um so like I want a whole rack that's dedicated to kitchen stuff um, and as you can see we can fill it up because we have our extra crock pot a toaster oven and just like baking trays and all that stuff that stays down here and then we move into here there's like some baby baby toys um, there's uh, and then just like random stuff our cleaning stuff's right here and then we start to get into like holiday so it's like fall stuff here um that's my wedding dress oh god um so like fall stuff here christmas stuff which is the majority and then baby stuff this is literally 95 percent baby clothes um so all of jack's stuff and then some hand-me-downs from my sister which i've been going through as jack gets to fit into them but then obviously all of them everything that he does not fit anymore that's been repacked away so we have a ton of that um and obviously now that we have emma there's not too too much that we can reuse with her because it's a lot of boy stuff as he got older the more boy-ish it got you know because when they're baby babies you can kind of keep them in the same thing and then back there was like office supplies um some stuff even back there um like our wedding lanterns um but then again that's that stuff is all like office stuff from stuff when I worked in an office and from like the desk that we had um in our townhouse and everything so yeah so you know eventually we'll use that when she kind of gets a little bit more sturdy on keeping her head up and everything and a little stronger and yeah, so we cleaned out so many boxes though, you guys. Like these are all empty boxes now, which is amazing because I feel like we always need boxes. There's always a reason that we need a box uh, to pack things away. So we have some empty containers here now, some recycling that we need to put out. Sadie's litter, she comes down here. We At least we hope she does. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it's chilly down here because obviously it's a basement. There's no like heat or um, air conditioner or anything down here. Um, Thank God for the little windows though, so you can actually like have daylight in here, but I actually don't mind coming down here now. <laughs> Not that I do very often. I mean, we always need something down here every day, I feel. But like obviously laundry is down here, so this is where like our laundry is on this side. Um, so I've been doing laundry today all day and I actually don't mind coming down and doing it because it's clean and organized and like when you're in a clean and organized space, like I just feel like so much better. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of a more of like a vision that probably will not happen unless we like win the lottery <laughs> um so 
I would love like mostly for when the kids get older like older meaning like high school middle school older um, I would love love to have half of this basement at least finished like keep this half with like the washer and dryer not finished and um <laughs> excuse me like build like a wall almost like kind of like right here so like the boiler and everything stays on that side if we can you know like so build a wall here so it separates the basement keep that side unfinished ish but kind of finish this side of it and kind of just make like a little den like a with a tv um, like a little quote-unquote man cave um <laughs> um and kind of finish that half of it it's like a huge project i'm sure that costs like a jillion dollars to do um but i would love that because as the kids get older obviously you know they'll want a space to like come hang out with their friends and we'll still want our one tv room that we have um upstairs I mean, granted, like, it's not a big deal if they had a friend's over and we're just upstairs in our bedroom and they're downstairs. But at the same time, like, I think it would be pretty cool. And then, like, also, James can move, like, all his, like, his PlayStation and, like, stuff down there, too. Um, and then when the kids get into, like, the video games and everything, they all just have that space, too. I think that would be pretty cool. A basement. And um, I feel so much better about it being organized and clean and everything you know in just we threw out so much stuff garbage day was yesterday we had so much on the curb um but or he just kicked on but that's a good it's it was it just feels so good so the next project actually we both want to do is just go through our closets we have clothes that we can probably just get rid of we have um like I have all my maternity clothes now. I don't need any more because we are not having any more babies. So I don't need any of that. So I just want to like pack bags away of of clothes and get those into the garage. We already have a couple bags in there from when we went through it last time. So, and, so that even feels good when you clean out clothes and you just have like what you know you wear. And yeah. So yeah, that's it. I don't know what else I'll add to this video of anything. Um, I'm kind of all over the place now. So that is our basement. What have you guys been doing to keep busy? What projects around the house? We keep thinking of little things, so it's actually been good. I bet everybody's house is gonna be like in immaculate condition by the time we're allowed to leave it. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye.